if your employer is having payroll tax issues, it's either uh, not collecting payroll taxes, not remitting payroll taxes, and even worse, if they have told you, if your boss has told you that they're having trouble paying their payroll taxes and they're not sending their payroll taxes to the government, you need to close your ears, say, I don't want to hear it, and get out of there, find a new job. Now, this is obvious for one reason, okay, but there's another reason I'm going to talk about later in this video that's, that may be not so obvious to you if, if you're not um, a tax professional who's seen a lot of cases like this. So the first reason you want to run is because this business is probably not going to be a sustainable business for much longer, right? If it can't meet its payroll tax obligations, it can't pay all its business expenses, especially legally required ones like their payroll taxes, and they're probably not going to be around much longer. If it, if it doesn't have other cash flow issues, uh, then you know the IRS may very well um, cause a lot of trouble for them, right? So that's that's one thing, right? Obvious. Business can't pay its expenses, probably not a sustainable business, probably not a place that you want to continue to expect a paycheck from and grow a career at, right? Because one day, you might have worked for two weeks, and you'll see, oh, my boss didn't pay me today. I wonder why. Oh, okay, it's because the business is going, uh, is going out. Okay, obviously you have uh, remedy there in that case, but it, it can be a pain in the butt to, to go through that process. Second reason why uh, you wanna cover your ears and get out of there as quickly as you can, I'm gonna talk about later in this video, but first I wanna read through this uh, Reddit post about somebody who's in kind of a, a similar situation. This Reddit post, small business uh, blowing off taxes. So this individual, uh, says that they have been working at a very small company for approximately a year and a half now, less than five employees at max size, currently two employees plus owner, was hired on for admin work such as invoicing, inventory management, and client correspondence. Over time, the owner became comfortable enough with me to share that the sales tax that has been collected for the past two years has not been submitted back to the government. States are extremely aggressive about sales taxes, okay, just FYI. Um, it almost seems that like income taxes, right, for both the IRS and the states are kind of a, a lower priority, right? But uh, payroll taxes are a very high priority with the IRS and sales taxes and, you know, whatever payroll taxes uh, uh, employers are obligated to to states, they take that very seriously as well. Um, I've also recently found out that he hasn't been submitting his payroll taxes. I've talked to him about how big an issue this is and that will bite him in the but eventually, but he blows it off like it's not a big deal. Uh, talks about how you know they're 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 finding a, a new job, and they're just kind of asking for some you know general kind of career advice or whatever. But um, wh why is this? Why could this be an even bigger issue than? Oh, this person might you know be out of a job soon if if they continue working at this company because this company obviously has cash flow issues. The reason why it could be a bigger issue that I think this employee may realize is because of something called the trust fund recovery penalty. I recently created a whole video about the trust fund recovery penalty. You can watch it at the top of the screen here, link at the top of the screen and in the description below. But kind of in a nutshell, what the trust fund recovery penalty is. Well, first let's start about the payroll taxes, right? So this business that this, this person on Reddit is working for let's say it's a corporation or an LLC or something like that. This business, let's say it's a corporation, this corporation has an obligation for the payroll taxes, right? At the business level, okay? Business level. Theoretically, the employer could shut down, the, the boss or you know the owner could shut down the business and that uh, corporation's payroll taxes die with the business, okay? And you might think, oh, wow, gee, okay, great, no problem. Owner owner gets away scot-free, employers don't have any, the employees don't have anything to worry about, the IRS is going to, or the government's going to give them credit anyway for the unremitted payroll taxes, whoop de do. But then the IRS comes around and says, oh, but wait, there's something called the trust fund recovery penalty. The trust fund recovery penalty is an assessment made not against the business, not against that corporation or LLC, but against anyone that business considers to be a responsible person, okay, um, who failed to remit or collect to remit 
certain payroll taxes, okay? The payroll taxes that are subject to this are the trust fund taxes, which are the employee's share of payroll taxes, okay? Yep. Um, federal income tax withholding, employee's share of Social Security, employee's share of Medicare tax. And you might think, well, okay, I'm not a responsible person. My boss is, right? But I'm not. Whoa, Nilly, hold on right there. The IRS likes to go broad in who it assesses the trust fund recovery penalty against. Okay. Not just the business owner. Not just, uh, you know, the person in charge of payroll. Okay. But they're going to go after a whole lot of folks if they can. Okay. And they say it right here. They're not. They're not unclear about their intentions. Okay. Who can be a set responsible for trust fund recovery penalty? Trust fund recovery penalty may be assessed against any person who is responsible for collecting or paying withheld income and employment taxes, or for paying collected excise taxes and willfully fails to collect or pay them. Okay. Now, if all your boss did was tell you, "Hey, I'm not paying the payroll taxes," okay, that's not enough to make you. Uh, you know, responsible for collecting or, or paying or, or willfully paying to collect them. Your boss could throw you under the bus. Because when the IRS catches wind of this, they're going to send a revenue officer out to visit the boss man. And that revenue officer is going to conduct something called the 4180 interview. And let me, let me pull up a 4180 here. Right. So revenue officer is going to contact, make contact, attempt to probably visit in person. Uh, the boss man, and uh, the red officer is going to conduct this 4180 interview, okay? Uh, trying to basically get the, the boss man to implicate himself uh, for the trust fund recovery penalty, and he will very likely be implicated because he's the boss. He made the decisions about what bills get paid and which bills didn't. Uh, he will probably be liable for this trust fund recovery penalty, and uh, the, the trust fund taxes will be personally assessed to him, while the trust fund recovery penalty anyway, which is equal to the unpaid trust fund taxes, will be personally assessed against him, right? But in this interview, the IRS fishes for the names of other individuals that could be liable for the trust fund recovery penalty. Now, hold it right there. I'm going to show you that the section on this form in a minute, because this is the form that the revenue officer fills out, right? Um, to, you know, in, in doing the trust fund recovery investigation during this interview. So um, why, why, why would the owner want to make other people responsible? The owner would want, want to make other people responsible because when it comes to the trust fund recovery penalty, you or the boss man and anyone else who gets assessed the trust fund recovery penalty for certain payroll taxes, they're all jointly and severally liable. Uh, liable. For the trust fund recovery penalty. It doesn't matter if the boss was the most liable. Okay. Subjectively. Or objectively. And you know. You had a smaller role. Or whatever. Um, you're all liable the same. Okay. And you know. But it's not like a, the IRS can. Let's say the trust fund recovery penalty is a million dollars. Right. Because there's a million dollars of unpaid trust fund taxes. Okay. The IRS doesn't go and collect a million dollars from each person. Right. If it collect, if if it's if, it, if it's able to collect a million dollars from one person, the rest of them are off the hook for the trust fund recovery penalty because the unpaid payroll taxes, the unpaid trust fund taxes, have been paid. So, a shady boss might have done his research and said, "Huh, if I'm going to go down with this ship, I want other folks to go down with me." Right. If I'm going to be on the hook for this. I want other people to be on the hook too. So maybe the IRS can collect from them to reduce the amount I have to pay, right? Because they're all jointly and severally liable. Same thing with people who are married, right? If you file a joint tax return, right, as opposed to separately, if you file a joint tax return, you're both jointly and severally liable for the entire tax set on that return, okay? No matter if one person earned all the income and the other person earned nothing, okay? Same thing with a trust fund recovery penalty, okay? Joint and several liability. And so here's uh, the box here. Right. So, you know, in this interview, the revenue officer is going to ask these questions about kind of what what your responsibilities were. Or let's say he's talking to the boss, what the boss's responsibilities were at the business. Right. All this stuff. Yes. No. Blah, blah, blah. But then they ask, could any could other individuals do any of the above? And there's there's another section down here. Right. Uh, 
were discussions ever held by stockholders, officers, or other interested parties regarding non-payment of the taxes, right? Oh, a shady boss, they would love to name you here, right? Because, you know, they're telling you about the unpaid payroll taxes. You can say, oh, yeah, I, I, it might have just been in passing. But they could say here, oh, yeah, I, I'm, you know, you might have thought it was just a mention. But to them, they said, oh, yeah, I, I, you know, I told you. Let's say your name is Jane Doe. I told Jane Doe about the, the issue. And yeah, I, t I told her to look into it and to figure out what was going on, right? Might want to rope you into this too, okay? Um, and obviously, you can probably pretty easily fight that, right? By just saying he just mentioned it to me. I didn't have any, you know, responsibility or, or anything like that. But if they were, if the bosses, if people are really shady, and and let's say they made they made you let's say they gave you a raise recently and they made you sign a new employment contract. Better read that thing. Make sure they're not put in your job duties. You know, responsible uh, to ensure that payroll taxes are remitted timely. Okay. Make sure you're not getting copied on emails about payroll. You know, and being asked, "Hey, Jane Doe, what should we do here? What do you think we should do?" Right. I wouldn't put it beyond anybody. Okay, it's just it, when I saw that Reddit post, it's just weird to me. Like I've never, I, I've never had, you know, it's just weird to me why a boss would say that to an employee. That, you know, it's not just hey we're having cash flow issues, but hey, we're not paying the sales tax and the payroll taxes. You know, j j just for your information, right? Like why would you pay? Why would you say that to an employee? Like I just I don't understand why you would say that, and my mind immediately went to, you know, when when I saw this. Right, uh, you know, the the owner became comfortable enough with me to share about the tax issues. It's just something just doesn't seem right about that uh, to me, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if the owner was trying to to bring this individual down with him uh, through these conversations, through about the the unpaid taxes, through maybe changing this individual's job duties to in, include some oversight over payroll, so that he can he can say, hey, look at the paper trail here. It's in her job description. And you're like, well, I just signed that thing when you gave me a raise. I didn't really read it. Well, you know, it was there. So I don't know. I mean, that might seem a little far fetched, but I, I wouldn't put it beyond some, some shady business, business owners to, to pull stuff like that. Anyway, folks, um, yeah, that's what I had to say on this topic. I have my, my video, my, my full video on the trust fund recovery panel. You can watch it, click it on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. I have my other tax relief videos down at, at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. My name is Logan Alec. I own Choice Tax Relief. We help uh, people who owe back taxes. Uh, we help people who haven't filed tax returns in years get back in compliance. You can check us out at choicetaxrelief.com. Schedule a free consultation at 866-8000-TAX. All right, folks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.